hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and indeed welcome back to the welcome break truck stop at Rothwell and we're just on the side of the A14 near Kettering having not been here for a, a few years we uh, find ourselves back twice in two weeks so following on from the success of the last video we decided we'd uh, get the camera and the drone out and we'd have another bash at it so uh, we hope you enjoy the video and uh, without any further ado as they say let's get on with the action well what a way to start <laughs> what a Evans transport the Volvo FH with the fridge coming in for his break there. Sometimes less is more. It's a cracking looking Volvo. Here we've got one of Hargreaves bulk logistics. DAF's coming in. Remember seeing them years ago hauling a lot of coal into the power stations. And, uh, the new DA XG or XF, not sure, but it's from Seven Asset Management with a MSC container on the back. Next up, it's uh, one of Reynolds Volvo FHs from Nottingham. There's our friend from Evans, he's probably more than likely been in just uh, what they call a splash and dash which is uh, get yourself into the bunkered fuel site, fill the tanks up and get on your way. So here's a fleet that might, many of you might not have seen, uh, I'm familiar with it because they do flower deliveries uh, around Spalding and that's Peter Viss Transport. for St. Mankenburg in Holland. It's EFM plants. Scania from uh, Northampton. With the two-tone horns. And an Aitken and Mary. Volvo FH and the bulker on the back. Now here we have uh, Kofco International Mercedes Actress. You can see the on the, the front of the cab there the green seed fertilizer. Well Kofco actually stands for China Oil and Foodstuff Corporation, and they, they're a huge, huge company. There's an Eskin Renewables Scanyon walking floor, just leaving. And he's met with uh, Wilsons of Kendall. See them regularly up and down the M60, a lot of milk tankers. Of course, uh, the ever increasing fleet of DFDS. There's a, another Bartram's Mercedes Actros from High over in Suffolk. I think we two, the two we saw in the previous uh, video had bulkers on. So it's nice to see one with a top liner. And here's our Hargraves DAF exit 1106 models. 
and again the little baby lifting axle in the middle so you can run at 44 tonnes but still keep the tear away to the, the empty truck down to a minimum. And Dave Bennett's Volvo FHs in the fridge. Could be wrong but I think they're from down Sheer Ness way maybe. Certainly see a lot of them uh, down towards the, the Isle of Dogs. This is my cracking Volvo FH with the Volker on there, Glebe Farm. CBT, is that a former Cooper Buckley? Possibly. And I think we caught one of these on the previous video as well, unless it's the same one. Trans Donny from Spain. I certainly like the Mercedes Actress. I can't remember seeing any other truck model for them. And another familiar freight, Kersey Freight from Ipswich, if I recall correctly. And here's our EFM plant, Scania Exiton, with his uh, low loader on the back. And he's met with uh, Richard Long. Quite unusual. There's the low loader there with the, the steering rear on the back. It's probably ideal for getting in and out of those farms when they're delivering their agricultural equipment. That you quite often see them carrying. And Wilson, uh, Kendall, Scania, departing, heading back onto the A14. And it's never too long before we catch our first turners. This one's a 106, obviously. Familiar fridge on the back. You can see one parked up and brake in the fence there. TP transport with. 20 foot container on the skelly, making his way out. Doesn't sound the best. Uh, oops, oh dear. Who put the curb there, huh? Who put that curb there? I was just about to say the tractor unit didn't sound the healthiest. Now there's an interesting uh, truck there. That obviously configured that uh, with a gap in the middle of the body to carry those roof trusses. It's interesting. And the uh, tools transport from Redditch. Again, another Mercedes actress. Not quite sure what happened here, other than uh, obviously the vans broke down. It's 
getting some assistance from the highways agency. It's causing a bit of a a little bit of commotion here, a little bit of tailback. So we've got the CS Cargo from the Czech Republic. And he's followed by another Atros from Banham Poultry, which I think is over in Norfolk. And then we have the uh, Dutch flower truck here from Plant Line. And we'll see more of him shortly. Some of the Dutch flower trucks are amazing. The liveries and the paintwork on them is just incredible. West Country Bulk down Somerset. They're regulars on the, the show scene. They're a wonderful fleet. And another Kersey Freight, Scania. And a tag axle there by the looks of things. Gold Star in the old livery, having now of course been taken over by Turners and the Kalina. One of the many thousands of Kalina trucks. Some traction here for Brian Nunn with a P&O Ferrymasters top liner. He's meeting a Unitruck Volvo. With a 40 foot container on the back. Not sure where the, the Unitruck's from. I know there are some always parked at the, the Dagenham Ford site. Usually see some operating out to that. And there's a Polina DAF HG on uh, Stobart contract. Did have Stobart on the door that one. Comes up from our friend from Aitken and Mary as he heads off on his way. As you can see, it's pretty much all go. It's a busy, busy services. So there's our plant line Scania. He's been in and dropped his trailer. And I guess he's off to do a local flower delivery, possibly in Kettering. He's met with Ian Ridley there from Penrith. Martello Daff and a couple of twenty footers, followed in by another Kalina. He's met by uh, one of the Ministry Transport Vehicles heading out. There was a, a bit of an exercise going on where they seemed to be pulling light commercials and transits and the such like. Obviously having a bit of a purge on those. Okay. Jack Richards from Fakenham. Or possibly Northwich, they have another depot up at Northwich in Cheshire. Here we have a XPO DAF wagon and drag on Romanian plates. A 
don't see so many of that configuration of XPO trucks now. There, there was literally thousands and thousands of them, and hundreds in the UK under the Norbert Dentris angle, but since it's changed to XPO, we don't seem to see so many wagon and drags now. And a Hanson's airbrushed Volvos. And a Seabot's top liners on the back. Hanson's, I did a job uh, a couple of years ago down to Monaco, a conference job, and uh, Hamsons had a truck down there with one of the suppliers down at the Grimaldi Forum in the heart of Monaco. It wasn't too shabby a place to be parked up. We had a good few days down there sightseeing. And here, of course, familiar sight of a maritime. Scania and an Ocean Network container on the back. And now it's uh, another Scania from Vernon Land. Transport, which I think is up Bradford Way, and another Martell of New Daff coming on. Amblin transport from Colchester. It's pulled by possibly a rental unit there. MEN 7 written on the door, so that'll be 7 asset management. They've always got a very tidy fleet, Simon Gibson, bulk tanker work. And our first Irish truck, Markley. And Ian Robinson from uh, Leyland in Lancashire with a load, recycling load on, netted up. A friend from Peterviss. As you can see, the tail lift on the back. There's a lot of flower trolleys, the garden centres, and flower markets, and the such like. We'll have a good few drops on the back of that fridge, no doubt. Another Costco shipping. Subcontractor coming in. As I say, it's located on the side of the A14, so you get a lot of container traffic coming in and out from Felixstowe. This time it's Neil Robinson in the Volvo FH and a loaded flatbed. Polish MAN from Citroen X. There's no mistake in that trailer number, is a It's another Volvo FH from really cold store. Shall 
showing us that the, the air horns work and not just there for show. There's our friend from Simon Gibson. Quick light check there with the two light bars. All's good. Uh, he's on his way. Quite sure what the story is with that van. Moving on, and we have a, another Volvo from MTS Limited. A Boal extrusion trailer. Hells belonging. There's the way around that corner. Possibly hear the, the left turn signal operating on the uh, staples daft there. It's another part of the compliance that operators have to have now for inner city driving. So many warnings now, so many cameras and screens. All puts the emphasis on the driver and the operator. Another gold star truck. This time it's a Mercedes Actros. There might be so many of these left now, I don't think, in the, the old delivery. Most of them now are trying to be encompassed into the, the Turner's livery. Again another Sutton's tanker. Seem to be getting one of these in every video now. But they are a big fleet of course and pretty much see them anywhere in the UK so it's no surprise really. And another Ellsby London Scania. I think judging by the the tyre scrub on the bulker there and the lift axle being down certainly a clue out. I'm fairly sure that bulker was loaded. Again another Emmons group. This one in Czech plates from the Czech Republic. Double decker trailer there. Each deck 1.8 metres, is that about 6 feet, roughly. It's the first big Renault of the day, yeah. this one for G. Smith. Malton in Yorkshire. another Sutton's, this time it's the the big brother of the FM, it's the FH. 
followed in by Jeff Hobbs and Vico Stralis. So our plant line friend seems to have done his delivery. It's followed in by the WS Scania. And that's nice, that's the first time that we've caught this daft. The Visbeam trailer on the back. And the truck right Scania rigid. And they're followed in by the KFL Stralis, another Kersey freight. I think I possibly prefer that Stralis to the Scania's. That's a little bit controversial. So the next PO Renault with a Pasco step frame flat. What's that for? Roof trusses? Certainly something to be tied to the centre. It's not a great place to meet a car transporter, is it? And the overhang. It always looks so big and clumsy, those things. Fair play to the drivers. I don't think I would want to be taking it on now. And there's your driver and vehicle check, guys. Fairly substantial forklift on the back of that low loader. And another DFDS Volvo meets Mr. Ridley's Scania coming out. DFDS uh, was on Irish plates, I'm sure. So, wonder if that's one of the, the Montgomerys, the McBurneys rather, McBurneys. Here we have uh, Tesco Mercedes. As always, taking it slow and steady. And here's our friend from uh, Nose Transport. So I forgot to uh, catch the, the chap's name, but. He come over and had a chat with us. Just been to the gym, and uh, it was lovely to meet him. What a nice chat, great chat. I must admit, it didn't uh, convince me that I should visit the gym. I think I'm a bit past it, sadly, now at my age. Some transport services, traction work for IRF. DLG, we deliver. Taf 106, fridge on the back, obviously, and he's about to be chased up the road by the, the truck right Scania. There's a Turner's Scania obviously and it's got a refrigerated CMA container on the back.
Dutch friend there from Kramer's Cool Care. Lovely looking truck. So here's one of the the current livery, shall we say, of Gold Star. As you can see, it's uh, incorporating the, the Turner's brand. Northwest Logistics Volvo and an empty flatbed following them in. So the question is, is Jack Richards fleet, are they going all white now or is there a reason why this one's white? Is it part of the the higher agreement. Well, years ago they would all have been ERFs of one sort or another. Brian Nunn with his Ferry Masters top line or head night. You can see the TIR cord along the side there. Quite sure how to pronounce that. Neves is it? A silent H possible. Costco shipping container, which is much easier to handle. Another refrigerated container. So we're getting on in the day now and these guys have either been down to the docks and collected their container for the next day or they've done their deliveries and are heading back. K2 recovery. Uh, Reno and uh, looks like a couple of Scania R series possibly heading off for export. An RG Bassett and Vico Stralis following them in. Cargo Express, Staff LA. We're all inclusive in this channel, you don't need to be over seven and a half tons. You can hear the exhaust brake working away there on the, the Scania as she comes in. Going there with a the car transporter heading out with of a mix load, I think he's got everything on there. Nowadays, BMW. You can maybe spot them better than me. This is a new fleet I've never came across, Axel. It's a nice looking tractor unit. You know. I was hoping to get a chat with the driver, but he looked rather, rather busy as he was driving in, shall we say, so I left him alone. Nice big Scania and low loader there with a cherry picker in the back. I think that's a steering rear axle on the, uh, on the loader. Tripod crest. They usually do the road resurface and road planers. Scrape off the old road tarmac, the old road surface. 
before they uh, resurface it. And again another gold star, this time it's uh, an XG I think. I'm saying I think because I haven't really figured out how to spot the difference between an XG and an XF. I know the XG Plus has the higher roof and uh, I have driven the XG and I possibly will be again soon but I can't instantly tell the difference between an XG and an XF so if anybody's got any clues on that that would be that's Paul Cook Transport Volvo FH kind of caught me out because I they're normally white. There's uh, Normans, Daff Hedman. It's one that uh, Matt Island uh, would be familiar with, I'm sure. I don't know if Matt uh, watches the videos, maybe someone can tag him in. But It's another DAF 106 from H. Parkinson Haulage. It's a high volume tonner there. And here's our G. Smith Renault T. Hike. Head out. This is uh, an eye catcher, G's haulage. I'm guessing that's a, an anniversary livery rather than the familiar blue. But it looks lovely. Very eye catching. Talking of eye catching, there's a cinch. And your car transporter. Don't see too many of these wagon and drags on uh, containers. PV transport. Quite sure uh, what they're carrying. Tanker says for foodstuffs only. It's another Scania Rigid. It's got the rear lift axle up. Floor and adhesives. Robert Walker, Fortlift Transport. It's a specialist bit of kit, that trailer. That's, a, that's an impressive uh, tail lift come back door. Now, here we are, John D. Engineering. Um, my brother works for this company and uh, I believe this fellow's Jimmy. It's uh, got some John Deere equipment on the back there. And he's followed in by the tripod crest, wagon and drag. You can see he's collected the uh, whatever that piece of equipment's called on the back. Sure, there's a name for it. Jenkinson's uh, 
I was going to say Jenkinson's of Penrith, but they've got depots all over now, haven't they? One down in Monmouth and Chippenham. Another fleet that's uh, continually grown. Success. Volvo with lift and tag axle there. Like a potato bulker on the back, I think. JS Trans MAN Wagon and Drag from Poland. And, uh, Here's our friend from Tripod Crest coming back out again. Maybe it's a different one from before, but... Well, that gives us the opportunity to have a look at this machine on the back again. It's followed out by... Uh, Priority plant, DAF LF road sweeper. It's ideal. Here's the more familiar yellow livery of Jack Richards. Now here's our friend Attila from Hungary. Attila came over and uh, chatted with him for a few minutes. That's an absolutely stunning uh, truck, that from LTL. Again, as I say, in Hungary. And here we have AP Hollingworth's heavy duty Volvo FH. And we've got some twin steer, rear steer action on the back there. As you know, we do love a bit of rear steer action here at Entergan Media. Maritime Volvo. Williams Scania New Gen with a load of straw on the back there. There's our friend uh, Michael McClurg. Scania's sounding well. He's telling me he's uh, got a few bits and pieces uh, missing from the front of his Scania. There's Michael, he's getting prepped for the show season coming up, which will soon be upon us. So we we'll look forward to seeing his truck in a few months. Another Unitruck Volvo. The MSC Maritime Shipping Company container on the back. The big huge offices, I'm guessing it's the head of the UK operations. As you're heading towards uh, Ipswich, I think. And pack cap, sliding roof, folded back. Williams Transport from Huntingdon. Walking floor. This gives us another opportunity to look at this JPL Transport DAF HG Plus, that one. And again, some rear steer action. Look at that. Is there anything better in life than that? A bit of rear steer. I'm easily pleased, I know. It's 
Scania sounds lovely as it pulls away from that roundabout. And there we are, a flat line chap, he's been in somewhere local, done his delivery, come back, hooked up his trailer and he moves on the next time. Those guys certainly earn their money and so do their trucks. They can have loads of deliveries on these guys and at some daft hours as well. In the early hours delivering to the markets. After hours delivering to flower shops. EV Cargo. Which of course took over Downton's transport down in Gloucestershire. I see the, the site down there, uh, is it Morton Valence? The yard now up for sale. Another uh, bit of traction, our Turner Scania. It's probably a Ferry Masters trailer on the back, looking at the numbers, I would guess. But you can see it's a, a standard UK height tractor unit and a low ride trailer, so that's why the trailer looks slightly higher at the front than at the back. Peter Volvo FH. Again, we another tall top liner, followed in by Gold Stars Mercedes from Heathrow. You see them doing a lot of air freight and working out the hubs for all the freight terminals round about Heathrow. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the. The truck in action for the minute. We're just gonna have a quick flyover as we get towards the end of the video. As you can see, this is about half past four, I would say roughly approaching five o'clock in the afternoon. Still a few spaces as you can see. This is midweek. Because we didn't get the chance to really look at it earlier, I'm just going to come round and drop down and uh, have a look at uh, this Volvo here from John D. Engineering from Membry. And that's Jimmy there at the wheel. So there we are, we come to the end of the video, we hope you've enjoyed it. There's a little aerial shot of the services and the parking. You see this services, it's, it's fairly new, it was built in 2019 I believe. And it's uh, got bunkered fuel, the restaurant, you can see the fenced off security. Uh, and as I say... It's one of the few that I know that uh, has a gym as well. So if you're into a bit of fitness, this is the place for you. So once again, many thanks for joining us and uh, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've managed to stay with us on to the end, then well done you. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. So until then, bye-bye for now.